there, I used to see. Hollywood's it. hands are all over the subject of looted Nazi yeah. art at the moment, but in real life, yeah, finding that art is a much harder process. Hidden behind ordinary walls in ordinary homes, in safes and attics across Germany and beyond, this is a real-life treasure hunt. And when items are discovered, getting them back to the original owners can be a legal nightmare. Which is where Germany's upper house comes in. A draft bill was introduced on Friday to try to make the whole process easier and speed it up. This is where the bill will eventually end up, the German parliament. Although when will it land is anybody's guess because it has now been nearly 70 years since the end of World War II. And when it comes to the issue of returning stolen art, nothing happens quickly. In fact, the passage of time is one of the big problems here because under German law, once a person has held that art for 30 years, it automatically becomes their property. So getting rid of that part of the law is one of the goals here. And of course, the other one is physically locating the art. Which is what a new task force will now be doing, combing museums for looted works. The big question is, what was stolen? What was given under intimidation? And what was gifted to the Nazis? It is a big legal grey area. England or in, in uh, the States, uh, a stolen um, object is stolen. Mm? And here it's very strange. And therefore it's necessary to have a, a law in Germany. But that law may not be the big solution many need. Museums can afford huge legal fees as they try to hold on to looted works. The individuals fighting them, in many cases, just can't. They have to sign a contract that it must be sold on auction because they know they don't have the money to pay the lawyer to get back the painting and to hold it in a family. It's impossible. Just this week, as many as 60 works from the likes of Monet and Picasso were discovered at this home in Austria. The fact is, new law or not, many more will probably never ever be found. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera, Berlin.